right, you guys have got that one solid. Let's do go make a difference. Ready? Yeah. One, two, ready, go. Go make a difference. We can make a difference. Go make a difference in the world. Go make a difference. We can make a difference. Go. Our family had had nine kids in 13 years. So at one point, we had all nine go through St. Catharines, and at one point, we had seven of the Geyers in eight of the grades. I was five years old, came in, you know, in kindergarten, so didn't have much of like the option of where I wanted to go. That's really your parents putting you on your path, and uh, I'm really grateful that they did put me, my brother, and my sister on the path through St. Catherine. Uh, I grew up here at school and graduated in 1983 and really enjoyed my time here. Felt uh, very nurtured. It was a really wonderful environment for learning and for friendships. Looking back at it, I can really see that it gave me a strong foundation. Uh, it gave me the right moral pathways in decision making. I really loved the Catholic education. I actually loved wearing a uniform. <laughs> I miss I just, the uniform. <laughs> I loved the structure and tradition and how it was more of a close-knit um, experience. The thing that I really look back on and I'm grateful for is the relationships that I made while I was here. You know, we say every day that they teach the whole child um, and, and I believe that that is really is true in the essence of those words. They teach the whole child. There's the, you know, the Catholic aspect, but there's also the character aspect. They care about what's going on with you. They want to make sure that, you know, you're doing well in school, but also as a human. Teachers here, you get more individual attention. Uh, I think it's a very personal connection that you get from them where they really are looking out for you and the teachers, the students, the relationships that you build, it really feels like a family. So I think by the time I went to high school, we both went to Archbishop Carroll together and then went on to Penn State together. <laughs> 16 years of education <laughs> together, so. Um, and I found that um, St. Catherine's really laid the foundation. You know, not only are we on the forefront of education and technology, which I think is really important um, today when you're, when you're picking schools, um, but you also break it down to you know, morals and values and, and just the all around, you know, being kind. And when I think of St. Catharines, that's one of the biggest things that pops in my mind is it's a nurturing school, nurturing teachers. I think it gives every kid an amazing foundation to develop their friendships, their studies, their athletics, and their faith. I think we shape the students about how we respond to their questions or their actions. I like SKS at St. Catharines because just the way we show our spirit is just awesome. What I like is all the nice teachers and friends and all the specials because they're very fun. Teachers are nice, families are nice, so we're all like connected in one. I like that we do social studies and me playing math games every Friday. I think it's a great school and I think it has a really good community and you really feel that here and it's a really good place to give back. I love how um, everyone here is so nice and so kind and it's built like a second home to me. Social studies is probably my favorite. We, I've learned a lot throughout the years, like fifth grade was geography, then sixth was more world and then this year is more like history. What do I like about St. Catharines? I like all the things that we learn because you get to do projects on them. My principal, all of our specials like library, computer, art, music, and gym and all of that stuff. I was like Catholic Schools Week because all of them are really fun. You're like, oh, I'm ready to do this and then I know the day's going to be fun my teachers and all my classmates. All of the Crazy Eights days and 
parent, student, uh, teacher, student basketball game. So everyone shows up to each other's basketball games. I just think overall, just supporting each other. Well, they make learning fun because it kind of just eases you into it. And you know, it's not torture to learn, it's more of just fun, yeah. Uh, yeah, I hate it when I get tortured. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many reasons this place is special to me. Um, we have three kids here now. I have an eighth grade boy, a sixth grade girl, and a fourth grade boy. So we've been here for nine years, starting in kindergarten with our oldest. It's been a fantastic run since. But once we visited the school, we knew this was the place for us. I see it when my daughter gets off the bus every day, you know, just her growth, her development, and her happiness. A friend of ours had recommended coming to visit St. Catharines, so I called Mr. Chasti up. Um, never met him before, and I was just like, I'm moving into the area. I'd love to come visit your school. My daughter's going into sixth grade. He was like, great, come on in. He opened his doors up. It's everything and more than I could have probably expected. You get a fantastic education with some of the, the best teachers that I've ever met in my life while also having this nurturing family environment for your kids. From, from the parents to the teachers, you, you always seem like your kids are taken care of. And really as a parent, that's, that's what you want. First day, I remember her coming and saying that, you know, it, it was, it, she felt like she had been here for years. Being in the same school from kindergarten to eighth grade is so cool. You know, I watched a video um, the gym teacher, Ms. Marchese, had posted of sixth graders uh, dancing. In sixth grade at my public school, I would have, like, you know, done anything to not dance in front of the boys in my class. And they were all sitting there dancing together because they've known each other since they were little. We also live in Rander Township, which has fantastic public schools. And we figured we'd put our tax dollars to work, but my wife convinced me that this was the place to be, and, and thank God we made that decision because it's been the, the right call all the way through. They're their parents for the year, their second set of parents, and um, we're just, we're so lucky that they, you know, they treat them, I think, like their own kids. Uh, the teachers are remarkable. Uh, they're like family, so it's like an extension from our family. Uh, for her to be here, it's like her home away from home. St. Catharines is like that beautiful quilt that you have at home. It's warm and cozy, but when you look at it, you have beautiful memories all over it. I've been here for over 20 years, and each piece of that quilt has been in, embedded by the people I've met, um, the students I've taught, past and present. To send your kids here would just be a treasure. If spiritual formation, in particular Catholic spiritual formation, is important to you, if sense of community is important to you, and if you want to form a partnership with uh, outstanding teachers, uh, th those are the three things that, 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 that we focus on here. We have academic success, our kids win scholarships, um, we have teachers that are recognized, all those great things, we have sports teams and clubs and all those things, but I think the essence of St. Catharines is that sense of community and even stronger a sense of family. Logan loved St. Catharines with a passion. He did everything with a passion. So when Logan had his accident and the support from the St. Catharines community was just overwhelming. We knew at some point that we wanted to try and give back. That was how we came about creating the uh, scholarship in Logan's name. We wanted to be able to do something to help other kids thrive. I have a great love for our faculty and I have a great love for our families. You could feel in the air that there's a sense of happiness, there's a sense of fulfillment that the kids are experiencing here. And when the kids leave, there's a smile on their face. And when they come back to school in the morning, there's a smile on their face. And that happens at other schools, but I think here, it happens a lot more. Have a good night. Remember to help your parents. Happy birthday. Have a nice night, kids. You 
What kind of job do you think you would like? Hmm. To save the animals, especially the ones that live where there's lots of ice. Because all of the cars, the smoke that comes out of the back, it's getting too hot for the um, icebergs and it's breaking off little pieces. And animals like polar bears or penguins can be in those pieces and they can float away to the warm water and then that warm water will melt it and it won't be cold enough for the polar bears and penguins. When I grew up, I want to be a teacher. I don't know, I think I would like to go into something that involves like world trade or finance and like how things, how money moves around and stuff like that. Um, I would like to be a nurse, a children's nurse. I would say if I could really pick a job, I would be a teacher here at SKS because it just, it just sounds really fun and I would love to do it. I really love animals so I'd like to do something that would help animals. I've picked up on some things when I taught first grade here where I said, oh my gosh, you would be an awesome speaker. Join forensics when you're in sixth grade. And then that kid has joined forensics and then they go to high school and they join the drama club. And they're in the drama club. And then, you know, so it all fosters itself with just one little word or one little push of encouragement to the kids. Packed up the photo album Matthew had made. Memories of a life that's been loved. Me and Colleen are already starting an animal club. Really? Yeah, that's nice. Can I join? Okay. Hallelujah. You are an angel in the shape of my mom. You got to see the person I have become. Spread your wings and I know the wind. God took you back, he said, hallelujah, you're home. Tonight is all about a look to the future of St. Catherine of Siena School. And it's incumbent upon myself and everyone, really, everybody that has a love for the school, a love that I think we all feel and share, um, to make sure that this school is here for another 103 years and beyond. The operating expenses of running the school exceed the cost of tuition dollars that we bring in. So we're looking at this annual fund as a way to help us for the future to meet our budget or even beyond and keep us moving and keep us sustainable for many, many years to come. Thank you for helping St. Catherine. To all those who contribute not only their funds but their talents to our SKS community, thank you so much because you make us shine. Thank you for helping St. Catherine's. Thank you for your support. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you for supporting St. Catharines. Thank you. And thank you for supporting our school, and we are really grateful. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks so much for your help with our annual fund. We're so grateful. You all are so great. Woo! Uh, hello, my name is James Brennan, and uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone who donated to St. Catharines. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Okay, thank you, Sophie. Bye bye. I got you, sweetie, okay? Bye. <laughs> bye bye.